Indian Science Congress Association ISCA 100 years of service to the nation Sarvasya Lochanam Shastram Anek Sanchayot Chedi Parokshartasya Dashakam Sarvasya Lochanam Shastram Yasya Nastyanda Eva Saha This shloka emphasizes the importance of science. It means science blasts many doubts, foresees what is not obvious. Science is the eye of everyone. One who hasn't got it is like a blind. One of the oldest civilizations in the world, the Indian civilization, has a strong tradition of science and technology. Ancient India was a land of sages and seers, as well as a land of scholars and scientists. India has a highly rich legacy of scientific ideas, a desire to know the unknown, accompanied with experimentation and observation have always generated scientific temper. It has been the responsibility of scientists to unravel the mystery behind the truth and utilize available resources for the progress of humanity. Progress of science and technology in India has been quite significant. India has made rapid progress in the frontier areas of science and technology due to its excellent scientific establishments, labs, organizations and technical manpower. Indian Science Congress Association ISCA evidently has played a crucial and enhanced role in bringing this scientific and technological potential up front through its activities. Indian Science Congress plays a pivotal role in the nation's scientific growth. We used to discuss different subjects and interdisciplinary action generates idea to deliver something which is useful to the common man. This is the only association working from 108 years to promote the science amongst the common person. Science Congress can be considered as a science movement. For the last 100 years, this movement is going on. The biggest platform, I think, not only in India, but in the world. I don't think any other society, any other association has so many members. The Indian Science Congress Association, ISCA, is a premier scientific organization which was established in 1914. ISCA was formed with the objective of the advancement and promotion of science, organizing an annual science congress and bringing out journals, proceedings and related documents. ISCA is an integral part of the Department of Science and Technology. Science is universal. Knowledge can be created in any part of the world and technology comes with experimentation. Indian Science Congress Association owes its origin to the foresight and initiative of two British chemists, namely Professor J. L. Simonson and Professor P. S. McMahon. In 1911, uh, they had a meeting in the Asiatic Society and while discussing in the Asiatic Society, some points came about uh, of organizing some science activities uh, where a lot of scientists from abroad and India can participate together. They thought of organizing one science congress every year. It was their view that scientific research in India would be stimulated if an annual meeting of research workers could be arranged. The first meeting of the congress was held from January 15th to 17th at the premises of the Asiatic Society Calcutta with Honorable Justice Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee, the then Vice-Chancellor of Calcutta University as President. 105 participants from India and abroad and 35 papers were read and there were six sessions, Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics, Botany, Zoology and Geography. And it, it completely uh, fulfills its objective at that time the many pioneers thought that the Indian science must be of the Indians. When the activity started increasing, slowly and slowly, uh, there was a need uh, to have a big office, to have uh, people involved. So from, from the Asiatic Society, they went to the Calcutta University uh, for some time. But again later from there, because uh, they found it was not very suitable there, 
so they came back again to the asiatic society then in 1957 the vidhan chandra rai the chief minister of uh, west bengal and he was also the, incidentally the president of uh, the science congress uh, thought about it and provided uh, land under the lease of kolkata corporation and this building came up and the annex building later on also came up so the whole office was shifted here from 1957 onwards the indian science congress association office started here many distinguished scientists have worked as the president of indian science congress association and enriched the fulfillment of the objective of science popularization and advancement of science from its modest beginning, ISCA has grown into a strong fraternity of more than 50,000 members who now participate in 14 different sections of the Congress. These sections are Agriculture and Forestry Sciences, Animal, Veterinary and Fishery Sciences, Anthropological and Behavioral Sciences, Chemical Sciences, Earth System Sciences, Engineering Sciences, Environmental Sciences, information and communication science and technology material science mathematical sciences medical sciences new biology physical sciences plant sciences and one committee science and society the number of papers communicated for presentation has risen to more than 2000 these sections are having one sectional president and one general president is there uh, at the top now these sectional presidents, they organize 14 international conferences within the one umbrella, Indian Science Congress Association. After independence, ISCA initiated active interaction with a number of foreign scientific academies and associations which includes strong bonding with British Science Association, American Association for the Advancement of Science, French Academy of Science, Bangladesh Academy of Science, Sri Lanka Association for the Advancement of Science and Beijing Association of Science and Technology on topics of mutual interest. ISCA has witnessed several prominent landmarks in its illustrious journey in the promotion of science. Silver Jubilee session was held in 1938 in Calcutta. The 34th annual session of Science Congress was presided over by the first Indian Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. He was of the opinion that science is like the engine of the development for any nation. In his able leadership and scientific inclination, a chain of laboratories were developed all over India. The Golden Jubilee of Science Congress was held in 1963 at Delhi, Diamond Jubilee in 1973 at Chandigarh, Platinum Jubilee in 1988. To commemorate the Platinum Jubilee, a special postage stamp and first day cover was released. The centenary session of ISCA was held in 2013. On this occasion, the Science Technology Policy 2013 was released. A special book entitled The Centenary Session of the Indian Science Congress Nationwide Celebration was published. Indian postage stamp was also released and 10 Ashutosh Mukherjee Fellowship were instituted to encourage the senior scientist. ISCA meets in the first week of January in an annual congress where not only scientists but science administrators, policy makers, science communicators and the general public also come together to discuss the latest advancements of science and their role for the upliftment of the society and nation. Indian Science Congress is a platform where research scholars, students and scientists can meet at one place and have a discussion on given topic. We can take outcomes from these and these outcomes are used in research among students and in teaching. We can give students more information. We can meet such great scientists at one place and get to know their thoughts. It is a big achievement. It is not easy to meet so many scientists by going to different places. To meet them at one place is a very big thing. The Anvil Indian Science Congress is inaugurated by the Prime Minister of India. And on this occasion, Union Minister for Science and Technology and several other dignitaries 
grace the ceremony with their presence. The Nobel laureates also attend the Science Congress and they enlighten the scientific community, especially the young students. Every year, Indian Science Congress, different Nobel laureates come and we interact with them, we listen to them and we gain so much knowledge from them. I also learn many things from Indian Science Congress and that is the attraction. We get very good feeling during uh, student life as well as during scientific life. We get to learn a lot from this. Since 1976, ISCA saw significant development in the trend of deliberations. A cogent focal theme of national relevance is discussed in every session, committee and forum during the annual session. These, along with several plenary sessions, are organized around various facets of focal theme in which scientists and technologists as well as the policy makers interact with each other. We are calling for plenary session top scientists of the world to come and give their lectures and anybody who is attending the session, he can interact with them one to one. And every young person is totally benefited by their speech. A permanent task force consisting of ISCA representative, chief of different agencies and voluntary organizations, chaired by Secretary DST, does the follow-up of the various recommendations on the focal theme. These discussions and deliberations used to come to a central place where we put all these things in the executive body. Then from the executive body take decision, then these come goes to the councils. From the council members, decision will be are taken and then go to the general body meeting. Once the general body meeting gives the consensus over the activities and the issues which we have thought and discussed and DST secretary also take decisions that these are the frontline areas where we should do the work. The recommendations what we are having from the Indian Science Congress Association, those recommendations will be transferred through DST secretary to the government for implementation. In this way, ISCA contributes in the national science policy and scientific development of the country. Indian Science Congress has introduced several vibrant segments during its sessions. ISCA organizes Rashtriya Kishore Vaigyanik Sammelan, Children's Science Congress during the annual Science Congress with the support of National Council for Science and Technology Communication. The objective of Children's Science Congress is to infuse and inspire scientific temperament in the public and most importantly in the next generation. A large number of students from the schools and colleges visit and participate in this Children's Science Congress. To encourage students project exhibition is also organized during Children's Science Congress. Every year hundreds of science projects are put on display in the project exhibition. During the Children's Science Congress, Meet the Scientist session is also organized where the participants get opportunity to interact with the renowned scientists. In this innovative session, students get great insight into how science has evolved over a period of time and what holds the future. Women have played a significant role in the field of science since the emergence of modern civilization. It is necessary to recognize the participation of women in science and technology, tapping their potential as innovators and implementers of innovations. Keeping this in view during the Anvil Science Congress, Women's Science Congress is also organized where leading women scientists from all over the country are invited for sharing their experiences of scientific research. This program is organized with support from Kiran. Science Communicators Meet or Vigyan Sancharak Sammelan is organized with an objective of communicating the basic concept of science amongst the common people. In this special program, outstanding science communicators, journalists, academicians, filmmakers and communication scientists are invited from different ISCA chapters for paper presentation and lecture delivery. Indian Science Congress also organizes Pride of India Expo. It is a mega science exhibition which attracts huge attention of the visitors of Science Congress. The exhibition showcases the cutting-edge technologies, 
leading scientific products and services, path-breaking R&D initiatives, schemes and achievements of India's foremost and leading public and private sectors, central and state government departments, research labs, educational institutions, corporate and defense. The Mega Science Exhibition is visited by thousands of excited students and general public. We have what is called Pride of India, an exhibition, where the latest achievements of Indian science and technology are presented. That gives a general delicacy and insight of what people are doing. And I was thrilled to see the young people, the school children, the college boys and girls, going there with wide eyes, absolutely thrilled to see what our country has done. A novel initiative of Indian Science Congress is the Vigyan Jyot, the flame of knowledge which motivates people, especially young students, to spread the light of science in the society. One of the major objectives of ISCA is to inculcate scientific temper among the people and to encourage young scientists in such a way that they could be involved in the programs related with fundamental, experimental and operational activities. Keeping these objectives in view, since 1986-87, ISCA started chapters in different parts of the country. We have also constituted different chapters because the membership becomes so large that every member cannot participate at central place. Therefore, to address the local problems, we are having the chapters and the local people used to come in those chapters and discuss their not only the national issues or international issues but also the local problems which are very essential for the social development of the country. At present, 27 ISCA chapters are at Srinagar, Jammu, Shimla, Haridwar, Patiala, Rotak, Delhi, Jaipur, Kanpur, Allahabad, Patna, Kolkata, Dharmanagar, Shillong, Imphal, Bhopal, Sagar, Bhubaneswar, Hyderabad, Tirupati, Chennai, Pondicherry, Cochin, Coimbatore, Bangalore, Amravati, and Baroda. Chapters are the most essential part of the Indian Science Congress by which we are spreading the science to everybody. These ISCA chapters are actively engaged in a number of activities and programs throughout the year. They organize conferences, scientific awareness programs, National Science Day celebration, popular science lectures, hands-on trainings, quiz and drawing competitions. They motivate the rural people or the urban people wherever the, their chapters are situated they take up the problem according to their need and they uh, perform various functions not only the professor scientist or research scholar even the uh, young children and the societies communities they are all involved in the science congress students at schools and college levels farmers and rural women are involved and get benefits out of these programs indian science congress go to the rural people even, not only in the urban area, to the rural people even for popularizing science and also simultaneously still we need that, that to remove the superstition from our country people. ISCA has instituted more than 40 awards, lectures and fellowships to honor and encourage scientists in India. To encourage talented young scientists, ISCA has instituted a Young Scientist Award program. If their work is recognized and that gives the scientist an impetus to work more, so they will be uh, more devoted to their work. Very stringent um, uh, selection procedures are being maintained and so that a very good scientists are being given the awards. You have to submit an unpublished full paper along with your CV to the Congress. You can mail it or you can submit in person. You have to load your CV, your abstract and your full paper and you have to get a permission from your head of the department and your head of the institution signifying that this is, this is, this is an unpublished paper which has been written by you. You have to submit to the Congress by the 15th of August of each year and then the Congress has a board which selects and then you 
if you are selected you will be notified you will be getting a letter then you can go and present at the congress which is happening there when i got the award i was very enthusiastic uh, and it gave me really uh, more energy to do more research in this field the young scientist was uh, motivated me to, uh, to achieve more in my field uh, and prepare myself for uh, different kinds of recognitions this award carries sum of rupees 25000 besides a certificate of merit ISCA has also constituted the best poster award in each sections. From 2013, ISCA has also instituted Ashutosh Mukherjee Fellowship for Senior Scientists. At present, there are 10 regular fellows. Senior people who have retired and who are able to who are still active in their research field, so they are awarding the fellowship to do those persons. With the help of this fellowship, I could continue my work. This Ashutosh Mukherjee Fellowship is a very important fellowship and this is for the senior citizens who have actually devoted their life in scientific discoveries and they are doing something for the country. ISCA brings out publications, journals and proceedings from time to time. Every Man's Science is a very popular bi-monthly journal of the association. We are publishing only popular articles so that anybody can read them, can understand them and can be benefited by this Everyman Science. The association also organizes Hindi Week ceremony every year with great enthusiasm to promote the use of Hindi. An organization grows with its dream, commitment and linkages with other like-minded individuals and organizations. ISCA has created a staunch bonding with scientists of various fields. These scientists belong to not only India but many countries of the world. I've been attending the Science Congress from the past 40 years and uh, I have a very old association with the Science Congress uh, uh, even when I was simply a research scholar. I came to know about this Science Congress and I got myself enrolled in this Science Congress and then uh, attending uh, Science Congress year after year and at different fora, at different sessions of this Indian Science Congress, I've been able to express my views. Indian Science Congress given an opportunity to come the young scientists as well as the senior scientists on one platform. So they unite together, they sit together and every scientist, they always achieve something, the experience of the senior scientists. So it is a very good opportunity for the particularly for the young scientists to learn about the modern science which is going on the different parts of the globe and the country. Only platform or forum where the students when they first started their journey of research in the laboratory, they are free to go and deliberate. I mean they read their paper. That is their first experience before going to the top. That is the alphabet to learn the science from Indian Science Congress. Indian Science Congress Association is enriching the culture of science and technology tremendously throughout its illustrious journey. Indian Science Congress Association through its activities has expanded base and has transformed in a science movement in the country. It is marching ahead to serve the nation and humanity with the fruits of science. The Department of Science and Technology is completing 50 glorious years in the service of the nation through science and technology. This journey of relevance and excellence has not been a solitary one. All our autonomous organizations have played a critical role in driving forth with quality and focus and speed in their respective areas. They have excelled in their pursuits. I wish all the autonomous organizations and their scientists a very successful future. The future is coming at us at faster and faster speeds. I'm sure you'll be fully prepared to meet the challenges and create new opportunities and work for an Atmanirbhar Bharat that can be proud of its s depth and spread.